it in the mail MS sex games from Japan Collecting without fail Those shoot 'em ups And that's the plan He doesn't just collect them He also codes them too Join us and we'll go on Electric Adventures With you Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little pick up and play um, episode uh, this is a game that I actually ordered on March 16th, 2020, and it arrived yesterday. Now, I'm not 100% sure that it was posted when I ordered it, but I can't work out the label on it. It's come from um, Ireland, uh, of all places, um, and here it is. It is a MSX homebrew title, and it's an MSX2 homebrew title, Shoulder Blade Overdrive which is a very heavily um, Harri um, Space Harrier inspired game for the MSX2 and it's supposed to be pretty good I have played a little uh, the demo version or sort of the, uh, <coughs> the the version that was submitted to the 2018 MSX dev um, giving it a quick go but back then um, that's two years ago now um, but this is the full version on a cartridge from Matra I have had other titles from Matra they publish the, is a, as a cartridge in these cases that fit the cartridge exactly as you can see it's still in the plastic wrap I haven't opened it yet um, and I'm very much looking forward to playing it um, look I mean I wasn't too fuss uh, it was very cheap I think this cost me $17 Australian so I um, I bought it from eBay so I don't know um, I don't know why it's so cheap uh, it would be very hard to produce the cartridge for that price but so I didn't really worry about it, I just thought it was one of those things that happened right at the start of COVID and it got lost in the mail somewhere. But it has finally shown up. So I'm very excited to plug this into my MSX and let's go give it a go. Right, here we go with Shoulder Blade Overdrive. There's a little bit of a nice intro sequence going. Really cool effect. I said this is an MSX2 title, uh, so MSX2 is obviously more capable than MSX1. There's different um, screen modes and a lot more video RAM, um, so you can do a lot more video RAM bank switching, and it has some extra commands in the chip to shift memory around in video RAM and things. Um, also, sprites can be multicolored, and you can fit more of them in a row without having to worry about flickering. <coughs> now, uh, let's see how I go. I actually quite like Space Harrier in the arcade. It'll be interesting to see what this is like. <coughs> right, so I'm firing where the cursor is. Definitely moves it with their clip. really hurt then. <clears throat> Continuing through so we'll just keep going with it. Right, push the joystick up twice. Those 
ones in the sky before. Oh, ooh, yeah. Do remember this is an 8 bit computer with a Z80 processor. I can see my cursor bit. Maybe they need to change the cursor colour depending on the colour that is in the background. Ooh. I think I only just shot that there. This is just the nominal speed. Oh, oh, got me! Let's kick out. This is too much fun. <laughs> and I want uh, you guys to see the, um, the stages. Oh, God! So we do have quite you know, it lets you into the game with um, a reasonable level to start with and then wraps it up. See this level, you see we're tripping over those uh, shields. And the enemies are 
definitely causing more damage. playing this on an M6 computer. This is missing something with the controls. Oh. You have very little time to react with those. Looks like you've got unlimited TV, so I do believe it starts you from Let's 
escape them. Just shoot them. Get out of the way. <laughs> Lay it on. All right, I'll leave it at that. That's just absolutely phenomenal. Um, who could believe you could push an 8-bit computer like that? Um, yes, the graphics are chunky, but it's all done with the aim of speed, and the speed just makes it so much fun. And it's not the same as Space Harrier, so they've done using that genre um, and made their own game. And um, uh, very well done. It was very well um, talked of um, back at the time when the competition was out. This can be very, me all the way down here in Australia, can be very difficult for me to get hold of copies of these sometimes. And I do prefer to play them when I have a physical copy because I like to support the authors. Alright, I'm going to let you the benches. Um, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.